there's obviously a few ways to do this and there's not just one way but the one thing that you should definitely always do is when you start off you start off by standing with your legs apart and the reason is that you don't want to make this thing a mini skirt where you're gonna to have to then walk with restricted steps so you want to be able to tie it in a way that it stays on so two things you have to do one is take your um, one is um, uh, extend uh, your uh, posture there and number two if you've got a stomach problem uh, meaning a big stomach you put it in because that will then help it to brace against the ihram afterwards now there's two ways to do this one way is to uh, get this in equal and then you just tie it here first this is one way to do it you tie it here you have to find the right spot for this so you tie it here Make it a bit tight. It's eventually going to loosen out a bit, so make it tight. And then you've tied that there. Now that's not going to come off. All right. Now you have to do something with this. So what you do is you get that together. You don't want. What you have to be very careful is sometimes what you'll notice there is that some people they're lying around or whatever, and they're not very careful about their ihram. So you don't want to be revealing things you're not supposed to be you have to be very careful because it's wrong to do that so anyway what you still want to do is you get this uh, these two parts together and then you f you know one is a bit longer than the other you fold it in like that I'm not doing it very well here but you fold it in like that I, this is not the way I tie my ihram but this is just one way so you fold it like that now what you've done is over there now there is no way that this is going to reveal anything and you're comfortable to walk you know with long straps it's not a problem right now this is not going to come off now it's easier for this to come off because i've got it over this but on your skin it's going to get stuck the other thing then you do is you get your belt and you just tie it over there and that keeps it even further but as i said this is one way of doing it i don't prefer this way right now the other way to do it is Again, there's different ways of doing this. This is what I prefer to do. You get the two ends together and start from a side like that. Again, extend your legs and put, start from the side, then clinch it here, right? And then you, you bring that over here. Get some help if you have to. You get that here like that and then you fold it like that and then like that it's much more neater this way as well put your legs together and then you fold this down now what you could do here is you could just put your belt here if you don't want to take it off ever and if it's those thin belts because if you've got a big one with a big pocket then that's not going to work for what i uh, what i'm saying you've got the thin belt you just put it over and then after that you just go like this you could, what you could do is you could put the belt there, then flip it over the belt, fold it over the belt. But you do this. Now, again, there's no way that anything's going to get exposed here. And if you do it properly, the fold will actually start from there. Mine got a bit loose. But now you can walk quite comfortably. You're not restricted in that. And there's no way this is going to come off. You know, somebody wants to come and pull it, they can. Right? It's not going to come off unless you really push it. You, you can keep this three days, it'll stay on if you have to. But again, if you want to go and take a shower in Arafah or whatever, so you'll just then take it off and you'll just put it back on like that. So, and it looks much neater this way. But again, that part is, uh, as you can see, it's a bit dangling on the floor. So what I would do is I would put it back up a bit more. The more you fold it, the more stronger it's going to be there. As long as you've tucked your stomach in first, uh, you know, it's going to be stronger there. And you want to make sure that it's above uh, your ankles but then not too above that it keeps riding up. So again, if you, if you just make sure it's clinched down. What you can do if you want to, is you can actually put a, a safety pin here and clinch that part here. And then take it back and, and do it that way. The top part, generally speaking, actually this is a good ihram, it's thin. 
keep it like that. Just walk around like that. The shoulder one is... There you go. So you just have to have enough that it doesn't roll out. Uh.